Okay, carpeting is in there and all fitted, glued on the sides. As you can see, uh, things came out uh, really nice. The factory originally had a screw here and a Phillips screw here. It's a good idea to put those in like we did. Um, the only final thing that we got to do is to put the shifter bezel on. Little trick, take a little bit of 4-0 steel wool and rub it up and down on the shifter stock and it'll take a little bit of the surface rust off of it, make it look a little bit more shiny, almost like new again, before you put the shifter bezel on there. The shifter bezel itself, on this shifter bezel, as you can see, it's got a worn seal on it. Uh, what we'll do here is we're going to take that seal off of here, and we're going to show you how to put a new one on. It's real quick. Just pop that rivet off of there, and then pop this side off. Take the brand new one made by a company called Scott Drake. I tell you what, these guys have been around forever. This guy, Scott Drake, really knows how to make a Mustang part. He's been researching it for the past like 30 years or so. I use all their products, everything I can, and it's a real good product to buy. Not only shifter seals, but all sorts of stuff this guy makes. Go on his website, good product. But we're gonna take his shifter seal. First thing you wanna do is just kinda spread this thing open a little bit. If you don't spread it open, what's going to happen is the first time you go and use this shifter, it's going to cut it. And then you can basically just kind of set it in here, and it pretty much just snaps into where the other pop rivets were. See, it just kind of snaps into place. And you'll take it, set it over the shifter stock, and put it down in there, put, put the four screws in there. It's not a bad idea to put a little bit of grease or uh, lube on here um, because it will chafe it and just wear it off just like the original one. So I usually put a little bit of like wheel bearing grease on there just to kind of keep it lubed up. But I think even before I put this thing on for good, I'm going to clean it up with a little bit of steel wool, maybe even paint the edge of this here. It should be black in here. You can, it's kind of worn away. Uh, and it's just one more, you know, kind of a quick thing you can do and it makes the details really fine. So that's it for carpeting on Project Mustang. Next thing up is going to be the door panels. And we'll see you on the door panel project.